Hello, and welcome to the Atlanta Opera Podcast. I am Gregory Luis Boyle, and I am the assistant director for the Atlanta Opera's production of Rigoletto. I am excited to be here at the Atlanta Opera to share this incredible production with all of you. Here are five things to know about Verdi's tragic opera. Number one. The music for Rigoletto is so, so very famous. The most famous aria from this opera is notably the Act Three tenor aria, La Donna Immobile. You will instantly recognize it from several popular commercials and pop culture movies. Our incredible soprano sings the famous Act One aria, Caro Nome, with some of the most challenging coloratura performed in opera. The Act Three Quartet is some of the most beautiful and complicated music to sing in opera. Every aria and duet is a hit you are sure to love. You will absolutely leave the theater humming your favorite aria. Number two. The idea of masks and identities is a very important theme in our production. Several characters use literal masks to hide their identities, allowing them to commit several acts of violence. We see that today in the world around us. Individuals put on masks, on uniforms, and on clothing we identify with specific cults and terrorist groups to harm one another and commit atrocious acts. Costume designer Jessica John took influences from expressionist and surrealist artists like Otto Dix, George Gross, and their cinematic successors like Fellini to showcase the effectiveness of masks. They are both beautiful and terrifying, creating a sense of danger and mystery. Number three. The theme of a curse is huge in lots of Verdi operas. Originally titled La Maledizione, or The Curse, Verdi's Rigoletto refers to a curse placed on the Duke and Rigoletto by Monterone at the start of the opera. This curse and the curse music continues to emerge all throughout the opera, tormenting Rigoletto and driving him completely insane. Number four, the offstage chorus voices create an illusion of a mighty storm. 27 tenors and basses use their voices to produce howling winds in combination with several lighting techniques and a massive orchestral sound that evoke a mighty curse, a terrifying storm with all the lightning and thunder you could imagine. Most recently, the Atlanta Opera experienced a similar technique during The Shining at the Alliance Theater an opera produced 160 years later. Verdi's Rigoletto is one of the must-hear original operatic storms. Number five. Our production is an incredible on-stage collaboration of singers, dancers, circus performers, and supernumeraries. With the principal cast of 11 artists, 27 chorus, tenors, and basses, six dancers, three circus performers, and four supers, our stage is packed with action. There is singing, there is dancing, and there is juggling. This is a rigoletto like you've never seen before. Tomers Wulin, the production director, Ricardo Aponte, our choreographer, and I invite you into a world of grand spectacles, of divided cast systems, of beauty, and of danger. This opera will take you on a roller coaster of emotions as you experience the curse tormenting Rigoletto. Thank you all for joining me on the Atlanta Opera Podcast. If you enjoyed learning more about Verdi's Rigoletto, please rate and review this podcast on Apple Podcasts. It's a great way for more people like you to find out about our content. And don't forget to follow the Atlanta Opera Podcast for more great episodes.